Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today it's another Tales of 69 Myths speed paint, and this is another old stream. This was day 18 in the challenge. The theme was Swordsman, and we are doing Kles Albane, or Kles Albane, depending on how you translate it. And he is the original Swordsman in the entire game, in the very first game from Tales of Fantasia. So he's your typical generic RPG. Uh, good-hearted protagonist swordsman that becomes the savior of the world. It comes from the era when Final Fantasy was just Final Fantasy and everything was still turn-based and there wasn't really much twists to the plot at that time. So he's your... if you compare him to the tons of RPGs, JRPGs nowadays, he's very generic and boring. But at the time, Class was, you know, the swordsman of the Tales of Franchise. Like even his outfit, his armor is very old 90s-esque RPG. And it's a really nice throwback and I couldn't I couldn't pass him up for a newer character because he's the character that he, like he's the protagonist that started it all. So to talk about the piece, um I feel very conflicted about it because it, it didn't really turn out bad. It's just that I feel the original image in my head when I first drew this out was that it was something very dynamic and fast paced looking and high energy in the middle of a battle type of image. But when it was put on canvas, it turned out to be very boring. I guess there's a lot of things that I could see that I went wrong when I was trying to bring it out. It's one of those pieces where I feel like that it would be a lot better if I had time. It wasn't a 69 minutes challenge because I had a very specific image for it and it, was not, it wasn't something that I just had to pose and the character just snap onto it. I really kind of customized this pick for Cress and it maybe someday I might do another draw it again thing. You know how you have a lot of those memes in the art world there you draw another picture from way back and see how it looks different in your current style I might it's a, it's another one of those along with the armatization today's armatization one is another one I do want to redo eventually this one's a definite redo because I still have the image in my head and I want to bring it out properly and not in the sketchy boring manner So just to give context, this was originally done in June 26, 2015, so it's been a while since I drew this. Probably by the time you're watching this, it's been a year or two since when I first drew this. There are a lot of things I do, I can see problem. I can see a lot of problems. But at the time, that's the best, so give it a time limit, that is my best as well. I actually do like Kles' outfit, not because it's skin tight or anything, <laughs> not that, definitely not that, but it, even for a generic old RPG character, it's pretty cool to look at. I mean, you have the plates of armor, he's not really fully plated. So you get this feeling that he's a fast, um, he's not a tank, he's a, he's a DPS, melee DPS character. Um, because you can see that he doesn't have any heavy armor in him. Though in the, in the Fantasia, in the Fantasia cast, he's the most heavily armored. Not bad because 
I try to blend the shadows to make it seem like it's all tied in together but it made the picture look very dark so I guess this is where highlights would usually help but at the time when I was doing this I wasn't really into highlights yet so I guess when I redo it I'm gonna heavily focus on highlights especially since his armor is metal and even though it's not a shiny aluminum type metal it still should have some reflection to it or at least some light to it so that's something to take note of one thing I do want to see and I think I've expressed this in some of my other videos or at least when talking to some of my tales of forums or tales of friends I want to see the older games like these Fantasia, um, Eternia, yada yada I want to see them in in 3D model form like I want to see them with models like you would see in Zestiria or Celia or Berseria and I want to see, even though it's a generic story, I still want to see the characters in not sprite form and I want to see them in new battle systems. I think that might be interesting. Like, you know how they're, at the time of recording, they're currently still working on Final Fantasy 7. You know, Cloud's Final Fantasy. You, I'm sure you guys would have heard of it. Like, they are redoing, they're just completely rebooting that Final Fantasy from the a sprite turn-based one, but are you inspired? They're 3D models, but the, that old turn-based game they modeled it to be something actiony and very modern. I really want, I really want to see a Tales game follow suit, preferably Fantasia. I want to see Fantasia in 3D models and really huge open worlds, and I want to see it. I'm gonna see them in 3D cutscenes and a new battle system where it's dynamic. Wow, <laughs> that makes me so happy. Maybe for the maybe for the 50th anniversary. I don't know. I don't think since the 20th just passed by. I don't think they're gonna do it anytime soon, which is sad. I was really hoping for that when they were announcing that. Yeah, in that 20th anniversary event, I was hoping they would say that Oh, we're, re we're releasing Fantasia in 3D models, by the way. That would make me go crazy. I'd love to play Fantasia in that form. But you can only dream. There's one thing I really like drawing or painting, it's the cloaks. I really like drawing, I really, I really like painting cloaks and for some reason I really point, paint them well. Any other clothes are screwed over. Since we are nearing the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like or subscribe even maybe. Uh, follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or DeviantArt. I post stuff there and you'll see the pics before they get uploaded over here. And see you around. Bye!